Number of wild cherry Pepsi cans currently piled up at my desk, five and counting. I'm around the wheel, and you are watching Moby Limbs. We're halfway through the brouhaha levels. I think we officially made it halfway yesterday. We took on Lemmings in Motion. That was level 15, I do believe. Or it may have been level 14. It's hard for me to keep track for some reason. I think it was 15, though. Yes, because now we're on level 16. Clues. We're going to be looking for clues. That's just a straight walk to the exit. But there's no way it's going to be that easy. 50 lemmings, 96% to be saved. That means we can kill two. What are our clues? This is just a straight walk, but I don't trust it. No, sir, I don't trust it at all. Because I see there are spots... Ah, there are certain spots where the rocks are going to crush you, and certain spots where they are not. 96. This is very cut and dry. It's just a matter of vision. Maybe there's traps over here, too? I don't know. It's going to be kind of hard to uh, figure out. Let's go ahead and just, uh, let's bring down that release rate. No, not that far. Yeah, 90 is good. Okay, so the two that we can kill are actually these guys. Let's make sure... Okay, yeah, there's nothing over the way that's going to kill anybody here. So I don't think this is going to exactly take five bridges to get through either. If we can just find the little lines here, this is a breather level. This is gonna, We're going to start our day off super easy, in fact. Okay, so let's make sure. Okay, let's confirm. No, that's also one. Where was the clue there? Was there like the one pixel? Okay, so which one? Oh, great. Okay, awesome. Okay, so some are safe and some are not. Okay, let's just go ahead and, uh... Alright, so the second one is not safe either, but it was harder to see. Harder to figure out. And I think we can go ahead and, uh, start building. That one is super obvious. You know you gotta build over that one, but we have five bridges, so there's probably going to be five of those. Okay. Okay, we're gonna build over this one. And now we're gonna build over the second one as well. Actually, I think the clue is in the little roots hanging underneath the bridge. One, so if they don't have a root, that means you're gonna get squished. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, that's the perfect amount. Okay, a little bit visually misleading, but again, not hard to figure out. Okay, so now, as we go over the third one, that should be a safe one. You think you would think just the visual of the of the floor pad is the clue. And sure enough, we're safe over that one. But now, now this one you can see this one right here and it's easy enough. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a breather level. Almost no beads of sweat produced upon my forehead. So now we just have to build over the final two. This is safe. The next one should be safe. And now we'll just build from here, and then over the next one, and we should be good to go. As soon as I start building the last one, I'll go ahead and bomb the blocker to make it all... Okay, yeah, from there should be good. That should save everybody. He should... Ooh, that's actually... Well, that could get a little ugly. I might have gone too soon. I don't think so, though. No way, that's perfect. That's wonderful right there. Oh, I only have the one bomber. Okay, so I'm going to have to nuke him out of existence once once we're finished up here. But yeah, that was an easy level. No brouhaha to be found there. I would have considered that a flapdoodle level, actually. That was really simple to figure out. There was almost no mental calisthenics at play there. But hey, that means maybe, maybe just maybe, if the next level isn't too bad, we might be able to fit in three today, which is always a treat. Yeah, let's move on. That one was super simple. Let's not waste a lot of time flapping our yaps. Let's move on. Not to the menu. Let's go on and just continue to level 17. Phoenix down. A repeat. Okay. The Phoenix is down. We got to get him back up. No, I know that's a Final Fantasy reference. I'm not being stupid. Although Phoenix is O-E, not E-O. I just can't not see spelling typos. 60%, 83% to be saved. That's kind of rounded. That's like five-sixths. So that's about, I could probably kill 10, one minute, what, oh, we moved the, okay, we moved the, <laughs> oh god, that scared me for a second, I was like, whoa, 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 how are we gonna get up the pyramid in one, holy snot, okay, one minute, okay, one minute to get up the way, is it gonna involve climbers, what's gonna, what's gonna be involved there, why don't we just, why don't we check before we wreck, um, one minute to get up that far? 
Are we sure about that? Let's, um, well, we got five climbers. 30 Wemmings are going to come out here. 30 Wemmings are going to come out down here. What is one, one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Um, let me try something. Okay, this is going to be, this is going to be tough to do, but I want to try at least one thing. We're going to try out some specialness here. He's going to crawl up the wall. That wasn't far enough. I kind of wanted him to go so that they could all just kind of walk up the wall there. Um, let's speed this up some. Let's speed this up a little bit. Okay, yeah, let's let... Okay, let's let the climber go, and then... Uh... Okay, yeah, maybe... Uh, no, maybe I sped it up too quick. Uh... Okay, let's let the release rate go real quick. Okay. Now I can go. Okay, so now I gotta figure out... I think I'm going to have them climb. Um... Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and make them all climbers right now. So that they go one, two. Well, okay, this is going to be one, two, three, four. I can only kill 83%. No, I can kill 10 lemmings. Okay, so. Um, so, yeah, okay, okay, let me. Okay, okay, I think I might have this. I think I might have this one in the bag, but let me just go ahead and. Yeah, let's pump up the release to 99. Okay, so the first five guys out of the hatch are going to be the climbers. We got to make this move quickly. Now we got to move from like here. Now where to bomb from for the other guy? Okay, I don't quite know. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna go from here. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do this when the next guy is on three. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bomb the next one. Okay, no, that was a little too high up. But I think it can be done this way. I, I want to at least confirm it once. I want to at least confirm that it can be done this way. Okay, so this guy is going to climb up. Okay, he's going to be a climber. And let's have him bomb from, like, about here. Five, four, three, two, one... Yes! Okay. No, they can't get up that way, though. And if he goes any lower, they won't be able to just... lip up there. Huh. Maybe if I get... Okay, let's see if this works. I can, Since this level is only one minute long, you can kind of sort out these little solutions as you go. So... We can afford to go 99 with it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's start building from like here. That's probably not far enough away. That's probably too close. I want to at least see if you can just get up the wall, though, with one bridge. Oh, God, they're getting tore up from the floor up. What am I doing? Uh, this is just a test so far, though, so I don't really need to worry too much about this sort of thing. Okay, yeah, they were climbing up the wall there. Okay. Okay, yeah, they immediately started climbing, so I don't think it's enough to... Oh, man. Yeah, I don't think it's enough to just build one bridge. And you only have five bridges anyway, so... So, what? Uh, this is tough. Oh, man, how am I going to do this in one minute? This is getting them all the way up there in a minute. That's going to be, that's going to take some kind of struggle. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, stand there and block all you want. It's not going to do a whole lot of good. We got over half of them in, but we need, we need five-sixths of them in. Sorting out to roughly 83%. Yeah, I think we can just let the time run out on this one. This one is going to take some real, real, like, stretchy out work. A little more practice on this level definitely is recommended. But it's only one minute long, so I feel like 
I'll be able to burn through potential solutions pretty quickly and then come back with the right one. Okay, let's try this. Let's put the release rate up to 99. I'm going to have the first guy out be a bomber. And I'm also going to have him block about right here. Now we're going to start a hill going down. This is going to be very... Hopefully this moves very quickly. We want to go from about a quarter of the way across each block here. That one might have been a little off kilter. But we're moving. We're making an impact though. Okay, so now we want to get... Oh my, that was a little close for comfort. I got a little bit out of my... Okay, so now we want to... We want to start building to the right. Okay, yeah. And then we only have one more miner, but that's okay, because we can kind of fudge this last one. Okay, we can kind of fudge it, and then make it so that he just bashes over, and now everybody starts walking up the way. The thing is, can they do it in 30 seconds? That's a bit of a ways to walk. They'll make it up that one, right? Yes, they will. Okay, everybody's making it up the way. Now we've got 20 seconds of walking to do. That is going to be, I should have brought this a little farther in, I think. I think I needed to be watching a little bit more closely. But I think I'm hitting up on the right solution. Oh, oh gosh, yeah, they should have turned around maybe a lot sooner. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, if they had been able to turn around sooner, if I had been paying a little bit closer attention, I think I would have got it. But I think I'm doing it correctly. Okay, even the hardest stragglers have over 20 seconds to walk up the pyramid now. So hopefully they can make it, but that's still kind of a long diagonal walk. The majority of them are making it, though. So I think we might actually have it in the bag this time. The Yes, okay. The others might not make it to the exit. One or two might. Oh, wow, even three did. Oh, but it didn't count that third one. 91%, though, that's more than enough to save the day. Yeah, coming down from the top, getting the help you need from the men upstairs. There we go. That was that was quite excellent. Uh, not exactly tough to figure out. You just had to figure out how to get the most number of guys working at one time. But still, uh, a pretty good level. Overall, I really liked that one, and I think we have time to fit in a third one, actually, believe it or not. This rarely happens in the world of round-the-wheel lemmings play. Fracture! This is quite an interesting setup we've got here. 20 lemmings. Gotta save 90% of them, so we can only kill two. And five minutes to do it. What's the equipment? Whoa! Whoa! What's with the texture here? How did that happen? That's pretty radical. Um, first of all, let's take a little, let's have a little test. Is everybody perfectly closed in, or do they walk up over this little boot right here? This little, okay, no, nobody walks over that little piece of land. Okay, so I think we have some time to look at this, because we have five minutes to operate. Um, only three climbers. There are these little, huh... There are these little bitty holes everywhere. Huh. There are these kind of little dents in the land. Why, why are all these platforms placed in the way they are? This level is actually a little bit physically weird. No bashers, no diggers, and only a miner. Um, then that, ooh, that might be hard to do then. Uh, although, really, don't we just need to kind of go up the wall and... Okay. Oh, but we only have three climbers. We have three climbers. Okay, we can't do the blocking trick, so that's not going to work. Mining down from here and going boonk, boonk, and then helping them out through the tunnel. What is going to save all the people? All the beautiful people. Mm, this may be kind of tough to figure out. Because we got to get everybody over this hump. So really, we only need one builder to do it. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm going to send a guy over the top real quick. I think I can figure out at least one thing we're going to need. I think everybody's going to go... 
I'm going to have to turn everybody, I'm going to have to turn people around somehow. Okay. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Well, how is that going to happen, though? How am I going to get them? Okay. How am I going to get the guys turned? Okay. I'm going to have to send, I'm going to need three climbers, but I only have two floaters. Uh, let's see how this Okay, so I know where I'm going to need my builders now. I'm going to need them here and here to get everybody to safety. I'm going to have to go like this. Huh. How am I going to... How am I going to do it, though, so that I'm able to get three guys over the top? So... Uh. Yeah, how am I going to get a third guy to... Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Okay, okay, I know what... Okay, I'm so I'm going to blow a hole in the wall while... One of them is going to blow a hole in the wall while he's falling. So, okay. Okay, I've spent enough time, I think, trying to figure everything out here. I think I can actually put it into action now. Okay, so now I'm going to need him to climb. Uh, and we're going to go from, like... Let's go ahead and uh, let's start... Let's make our benchmark the very corner right here. Five, four, three, two, one. That was too far. He's going to have to start bombing from, he's going to have to be detonated from an earlier point. Because I need to, what's going to happen is I'm going to send a guy over the top. Okay, so let's send the one guy over the top that we know we're going to need first. He's going to be a floater. I'm going to demonstrate the other hole that we're going to use first. Uh, it's going to be somewhere, it's going to be over here against this wall so that the climber can eventually turn around. Um, hmm. Let's see though. There might be a definite order that I need to do this in. Because the guys are going to come... Because I'm going to need to send at some point. Okay, I think, okay, I think I'm going to need to send another guy at the same time. I'm going to have to send him to do some of the work at the same time. So now I'm going to have to send the two that are going to be floaters. The third one who bombs in the wall so that the climber who comes back this way can mine, he's going to go down. He's going to go at some point... He's going to go at some point after this guy. Okay, so now we're going to... Alright, the order of things is very important here. Okay, so now... Uh, probably from about here will be good for him. Four, three, two, one. Perfect. Okay, because they can all walk up over that hole eventually. Okay, so now he's going to build... Once he gets going to the left, he's gonna build. Uh, we're gonna let him. I'm gonna let him drop off of the little thing here, so that so that everybody can, will be assured that they walk up onto that thing. So now he's going to fall down and float. But who's going to do like the construction though? Because isn't he going to need to build over this hole in order to patch? But there should be coming in such a way. The lemmings should be, but they're awfully grouped together. That's what sucks. If I get one guy to build, somebody's still going to get through that. There's a tea tiny hole there, and I think that's a splat height hole. So I'm going to get, how many lemmings are in this group? Three? Are there any lemmings that just, are there any groups that just have two in them? What I might need to do is pick out, huh, this might be pretty hard to arrange, actually. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, okay, once he falls down the little T-tiny gap here, once he falls down that T-tiny gap, I'm going to send up a climber. Yeah, I'm going to send up a climber, and we need to bomb him so that he... Let's go from here this time. Five, four, three. That's not even far enough away. Oh, wow. No, not even close. But he needs to, when the when the third climber, he needs to climb, walk over the wall, and fall in such a way that he 
doesn't fall very far before he detonates. And so that gives this guy room to climb up and mine through and save everybody else. But what's going to be hard about saving everybody else is that these lemmings are all clumped together because of the way this, because of the amount of space given here. And now when the groups walk toward, what I'm afraid of happening is he starts building, but his friends fall through and some go splat, and then we end up killing too many. How do I, how do I not do that is my idea. We'll come back when we figured it out. Okay, slight reformulation of plan, but I think it's going to work the way I have it done here. I'm going to have him go slightly higher up the wall this time. Um, I'm going to have him bomb slightly higher up. This is going to keep people from walking in and getting involved in the climbers business. So yes, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do all that work yet. Okay, I'm going to go, I think I bombed from a pretty good place right here that's going to let them out. Uh, I think I've bombed from a more or less, uh, a more exact region. And I raised the release rate to 99 right after I made my three climbers. That way they're all walking together and they're just kind of doing their own thing. I'm going to go from the very, I'm going to go from the very edge here. Hopefully that's low enough. Hopefully that makes a low enough tunnel that they can all walk up into it. Now what I want to happen is, okay, yes, uh, that might have been, ooh, that might get too low, actually. Actually, I don't think it's going to. I think that's going to be perfect. I think that's going to get everybody out. That's going to let everybody walk. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay, so now the floater is separated from the group at large. That gives him time to work. Everybody is down here now. Okay, so that should give him the time he needs to work and operate. I would hope. Because I need to build far enough away from this gap. If I build right on top of it, then that's going to be a bad time for everybody. Because, actually, why don't we... Why don't we let... Uh, I was going to say, why don't we let a... Why don't we let a climber or a walker do this? But I don't think we want to do that. Okay, we want to get the bridge going here. Okay, now we need to get going in such a way... Okay, this is getting a little scary for me, actually. But he's keeping going and walking, so that should be fine, actually. Okay, so now we want him to go from a little bit before... Because if we start right on the gap, he'll build up and he'll seal up the wall. That's a little bit of tricky business right there. But I think he's going to get through a whole bridge before... I think I may have built right to the wall, actually. Four, five... Six. Yeah, I'm not confident that this isn't going to seal things up. Oh, yeah, I sealed up the wall anyway. I started from too far back. Yeah, it's an ugly situation. It's an ugly mess, but, yeah, that's a, that's what I think you have to do to prevent people from splatting. How about from here this time? That should, yeah, oh, yeah, he should be getting to, like, ten steps by the time it clicks. And everybody should be walking up the way about the time he finishes. Beep, beep. Beep. Everybody gets to walk to the exit now. Okay, so that's how it's done. That's a very interesting way to order things there. There's a lot of... You have to make a lot of considerations in that level. There's just a lot of little itty-bitty weirdo gaps there that make it just right. Okay, and we killed... Okay, yeah, two bombers. We killed our 90%, so that was... I wasn't even thinking about the amount that we had to save. I just was working with the tools I had. So good thing it all worked out in the end, as it always does. Level 19 is where we'll start next time, and maybe I'll actually be able to remember that number, although I'll probably think we're starting on level 18 or something, like the goop that I am. But you love me. You know you do. See you guys next time.